Hello folks. Well, I have several clip-on guitar tuners, one also built into my Rowan Sound Looper, and even one built into my Keith Urban Acoustic. But I never had one that actually wound the strings, let alone be accurate. I've checked the tuning with my others, and it's right on. So here's how I changed my strings on my Martin Packpacker with silk and steel strings, how I use this to tune the Martin, and also my Fender Strat. So here we go. Well, I really like my backpacker Martin guitar. It has a great sound and uh, but a lot of people said I should change the strings on it. And they recommend these silk and steel strings by Martin. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on there. I also want to show you one of the coolest things that I've got here is this automatic winder and tuner. So, you know, if you've ever changed strings, it can be kind of time consuming. So, with this, I can easily just unwind the strings. Okay, let's go ahead and show you how this works. I'll go ahead and turn it on. It says auto and guitar. Okay, everything is set. So if I want to change the mode, I hold this down. This is custom, so I can assign any tone to any string. I hold this again. This is semi. So if the guitar is just a little bit out of tune, uh, then you can uh, do that and it'll automatically tune each note. And if you hold it down and you put it into auto, if you're changing the strings like I'm going to show you on my guitar right now, this will then automatically tune each string exactly to what you want it to be. So again, I can pick the string that I want to tune. It's different kinds of guitars, so I would go ahead and pick the electric guitar is there. That's the acoustic guitar and a ukulele. So that's the unit. It's, uh, it's very cool. And when the strings are in tune, it will tell you right there at the top in the middle, and it'll tell you whether it's high or low. It has different caps, so depending on the, the string, it's quite a heavy unit and it's rechargeable so let's go ahead and show you how it works so i'm going to just go ahead and unwind everything because i'm going to take it apart so first thing i'm going to do is take the this works and just put this on there and i'm going to push this and you can see that's unwinding and this will automatically tune it so when i put on the new string Okay, that's a pretty quick way of getting all the strings off. Not as quick as using a pair of dikes, but you never know. Okay, we're going to put on these Martin strings now. Wind it up a little. Now it's going to do it automatically. Just going to put it on there. And if I strum it, it'll start. It'll start putting it. It'll do it. All right. The second string, which is this one, and I will strum that. Bingo. Tune. Third string. And that's in tune now. All right, now we'll go with the A string, fifth string. In tune. And it's in tune. Oh, yeah. 
yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to tune the electric guitar. I'm going to set the mode to electric guitar and we're going to start with a six string. In tune. Fifth string. In tune. Four string. string in tune second string in tune and the first string in tune how's that sound Okay, all that work. Let's see how they both sound by having some fun laying down the acoustic track first, then the electric on the looper with my backing track. Here we go. Sounds like everything's really in tune. Maybe not me, <laughs> but I really like this tuner. I think it could be handy for a lot of people. And I like the silk and steel strings too. <laughs> 